Welcome on my YouTube channel or on our YouTube channel, better to say. <coughs> so, dear friends, who follows my or our YouTube channel knows that uh, about two days ago arrived this and I can say legendary old West German speaker boxes, Heco, Heco PCX4. Why legendary and why I must buy it? I must. Uh, this is the next case. I will explain it uh, within a few seconds uh, because at first I would like to thank you everybody for watching our YouTube channel, for subscribing our channel and if you like our videos and if you would like to support our channel you can also join our channel. So, dear friends, why legendary and why I must buy them? Uh, because these boxes, they are, as you can see, from 80s early 80s, around the year 1983, and they were really not cheap. Uh, the price uh, manufacturer suggested retail price, early 80s, was 1,400 West German marks. And uh, the normal sal salary for normal work in this uh, years was about six, seven, eight hundred West German marks, maybe 1,000. So it was sure more than one month's salary. Pretty heavy, huge, but bookshelf. And uh, the most important thing, thing for me is uh, that uh, the bus speakers, the cones of uh, 280 millimeters bus speakers are made with part of sheep wool. Once more, sheep wool. wool. This is uh, <coughs> animal material uh, together with cellulose. So not only cellulose paper, but real sheep wood. And uh, why? Uh, because uh, the cone is more soft, the sound is more warm and more pleasant for the ears. So the bass uh, <laughs> is uh, uh, incredible, incredible good and I love them. Yes, they are produced also nowadays, uh, such, a, uh, such a cones, uh, but uh, for the high speakers and incredible expensive. <laughs> So, uh, it was my dream to have here uh, such a, uh, speakers to hear the sound and to uh, hear the difference uh, <coughs> when I uh, am hearing uh, normal or speakers uh, with the cones, with cellulose, but with sheep wool, it's uh, inc incredible. And uh, next uh, reason why legendary, because uh, they are so good that they were used for comparisons uh, in the mid 80s, for comparisons with other speakers in the audio hi-fi magazines, magazines, uh, newspaper, <laughs> sorry for my, for my English, so the, uh, in the audio uh, newspapers and so they compared these boxes with other boxes and they uh, heard that uh, they, uh, if the, the other boxes are better or worse than this Heco, I, I believe worse because they are inc incredible. Uh, at the beginning of the video you could see that uh, uh, they are not perfect, uh, the enclosure, I mean this, this box, there, there are some uh, damage damages, but uh, it's everything real wood and it should be should be repaired, but it's on the back side from the front view, it looks um, not like new one, but looks very, very good. Uh, I have also the uh, 
Front Grills with Textile, but here's the Textile Dirty uh, with original badges, Heco and uh, with all plastic sticks or knobs, but if I put it uh, there and then when I put it down, sometimes the stick goes out from the uh, wood here and uh, <laughs> stuck here in these openings, but uh, the uh, textile should be cleaned or uh, <laughs> from my point of view it's more nice to let them without this uh, without this uh, textile uh, grills <laughs> so uh, let's try the sound and then later i will open uh, open one box to see what's inside and how does it look like the uh, speaker uh, the bus speaker from the back side the magnet and also the crossover and the next reason why this box uh, you could see it maybe on the at the beginning of the video uh, there is uh, uh, some damage on this mid contact ground and uh, previous owner tried to fix it but mm, and if i move with the cables uh, the sound uh, <laughs> i lose the sound so there is problem with this this contact and uh, Next important thing, uh, I would like to open it and watch it, uh, what's inside is that if you connect it so, it's 8 ohms <coughs> and if you connect it so, it's 4 ohms. So I now, I have connected 4 ohms, <coughs> maybe there will be some re uh, edit, uh, re resistor more. Uh, <coughs> The producer signed it as a protection, so I think that it is uh, the reason is that some amplifiers uh, uh, with some amplifiers should be used the uh, eight ohms bo boxes. So now <coughs> four ohms. Let's try the sound, and then I will try to dismount this bus speaker, and we'll see what's inside. So, for example. Track number three, motorbike from the YouTube library only. Like the sound, I will have to move uh, with, uh, with the cable left channel. Left channel only. Right channel away. Stereo. So, do you like the sound? Write me in comments and let's open this box and watch what's inside. I will describe the cable. So six screws, this is plastic, and next four screws. So Okay, 
and it's with connectors right plus So watch the speaker. Interesting. Oh, I must put it so. Let's see what's inside and <laughs> any other comment regarding the speaker cables. So, uh, dear friends, <laughs> sometimes I read somewhere that there are no thousand uh, dollars speaker cables, that there are only ten dollar speaker cables, but some sellers <laughs> selling them for one thousand. So, uh, watch this cables in really not cheap speaker boxes if you are interested i've recorded about five six years ago detailed info or detailed uh, video about the speaker cables if i don't forget i put here active link and i show there also uh, how to make your do-it-yourself speaker cables with uh, really uh, not bad parameters uh, with the imperance about uh, 8 ohms per kilometer per, uh, <coughs> per 1000 meter per uh, more than 3000 feet uh, imperance 8 ohm and it costs uh, only uh, few cents a meter uh, about uh, maybe 40 now nowadays 40 cents uh, a meter Let's watch what's inside. Okay. We can see the crossover. Ah, interesting. I will make a detailed footage that you can see how does it look uh, inside. So, dear friends, how do you like it inside? Uh, <coughs> I was uh, waiting a little bigger crossover, but it looks interesting. Regarding the <coughs> terminal, the damage terminal, uh, there is problem from inside because the connector fall out from the terminal. So I pressed it there on the contact and it's, uh, uh, I think, I believe it's fixed. It holds uh, also uh, somebody uh, by, maybe by opening uh, has uh, caused this, uh, this problem. So, dear friends, how do you like uh, these boxes? Do you like them or no? <laughs> I must say, I love, love them. So, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing our YouTube channel. Uh, and if you like our videos, you can also join our channel. So, have a nice day.